All right, so today I'll replace in the front and rear calipers, brake pads, and rotors on this yes. 2003 Cadillac CTS. CTS. So let me get all situated and I'm gonna get right back with you. All right, so I <clears throat> got the car jacked up on both sides, tires off on both sides. So what you wanna do firstly, to take off these, I'm gonna take off the whole caliper. Um, So I'm pretty, I think this is an 18. Hold on, let me get on my flash. So right here, these two bolts right here, one right here and the one down here. Those are both 18 millimeters. So I'm gonna take those off and I'm gonna get right back with you guys. All right, so once you get those two 18 millimeter nuts off, you, uh, you wanna watch out for your caliper because it will try to drop. You gotta take off, I think this is a 10 or 11. Take this off for this, bra uh, this brake line. You're gonna leak some fluid, but it's okay. And then, um take this is ready to come off right here usually there's um i think there's like one screw come show them right here one screw over here in one of these holes but I already took mine out so i'm gonna go ahead and take all this off and i'm gonna get right back with you. all right so if you were just replacing the rotors you would put the rotor on right now and you'll be good but i'm doing the brake pads as well i already have a video on that if y'all want to go look at that for this car it's somewhere in my videos but this is what it looks like. I got that line up there, it's, it's leaking, but I'm gonna bleed the brakes before I put these new calipers on anyway, so it's all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and I'm gonna show y'all how to do the back side and I'm gonna get right back with y'all. All right, so when you get the tire off on the back, there's gonna be, um, of course, the 18s. Let me show y'all. So this one's a little different. The 18 is right here. And then the other 18, let me show y'all, is right there i know y'all see that it's on the other side just straight down from the one on the top and then you also got this i think it's a t25 torx so i'm gonna get that off and i'm gonna show y'all what that looks like and i'm gonna get right back with you